Hi there, my name is Janet Simmons and welcome to AEDT 3120, Workplace Learning. This is the first video of the course and the purpose of this course is to introduce you to the course layout. Distance education can sometimes seem a bit, well, impersonal. So I'll start off with a brief introduction of myself and then we'll look at the five important aspects of the course that we'll have running through each module. We'll review how the video clips are used in the course. I'll introduce you to analysis questions. Next, I'll introduce you to the course activities and course schedule. And I'll also speak a bit about the course assignments and expectations. And then we'll wrap up with a look at the synthesis questions. I live in both Toronto and Victoria, BC, where I'm working on my PhD in education. My work history includes working at a Toronto area college for eight years and also as an instructional designer for a private IT education company where I created online self-paced and in-class instruction. In 2013, I began my studies at the University of Victoria where I research educational technology use in higher education. I'm always happy to talk about my background and area of research, so feel free to ask questions about it during our weekly tutorials. All video clips contain three elements that will help you organize the material for the course. Each video begins with analysis questions. These questions will help you focus on the key areas you should think about while you watch the video. The content of the videos will provide you rudimentary information. Support videos or reading will introduce you to the ideas and principles and offer in-depth content. Reviewing these resources is imperative to gain insights needed to be successful with understanding workplace learning. Finally, each video will end with synthesis questions. These questions are designed to help you connect key ideas and content of the video and bring together the concepts and ideas from the week's readings with the videos. Many of these questions will be asked in the weekly tutorial, so please come prepared to discuss them. Let's talk about the analysis questions next. These questions are read prior to viewing the remainder of the video. The purpose of these questions is to be the advanced organizer for your thinking and to help you focus on initial areas of content to ponder. Please discuss your thoughts with others in the group and in the course forum. There are three analysis questions for this video. It is also easy to just think about answers to questions such as these, but I have found that writing down my answers helps me process the information and refine my answers. I encourage you to open up a document titled Analysis Questions. You'll find it in this week's module and then you can refer to them as you watch the video. The focus and purpose of this course is to examine a wide range of workplace learning programs and their social and personal impact. Here we have the first three learning outcomes from the course syllabus. You can see that we will examine the roles of workplace learning, the range of opportunities of learning in the workplace, and techniques and methods associated with workplace learning. The fourth and fifth learning outcomes look at digital learning technologies and the pros and cons of workplace learning programs. These five learning outcomes will be examined mostly through problem-based learning over the 12-week course. While this may seem a long time, the time will go by very quickly. In fact, you'll spend approximately three hours a week working on activities in the course, but that's just a conservative estimate because many of you will dig further into the readings and begin exploring topics that you personally want to know more about. There is also a Blackboard component, which includes discussion forums, and this is where you'll find the videos and readings and many other self-directed learning activities. The weekly video clips will be uploaded to a YouTube channel, and I'll provide links to the videos in each module. Additionally, links to support videos and readings are also posted in Blackboard. We will also meet each other online in Adobe Connect for our synchronous group activities. You've been emailed the link to the Adobe Connect room, and the link is also posted in each module. Each Thursday for the duration of the course, you are required to show up for one of the weekly tutorials and participate either in the chat or contribute verbally to the discussion. You also must have your video cameras on and not paused. This demonstrates your willingness to participate and your attentiveness to the discussion. The final component is working on your problem-based learning. This slide illustrates the various components and the general workflow of the course. The 12 weeks are illustrated here, and you can see that it begins with the intro and ends with a wrap up. In between, we have the majority of weeks working on the problems. There are also five assignments and three discussion forums with the first one next week, which will really get us into the issues surrounding workplace learning. The second and third forums are for your group to use to report back how your group is progressing toward your first PBL. Similarly, 
Discussion Form 3 is for your outline of PBL Part 2 as it is associated with Assignments 3 and 4. This may seem like a bit much to take in right now, but believe me, once you start the course, you'll understand how it's laid out. I'm not going to go through each week's schedule with you, as you'll find that in the course syllabus. This is a quick look at the first week. Please consult the course outline each week to ensure you have completed the required work. Here's a look at the assignment schedule for the course. Again, please refer to the current course syllabus for the exact due dates. There are three team assignments and two individual assignments. The team assignments are cumulatively worth 65% and the individual assignments are worth 35%. The due dates are also spread out to give you time to complete each one and for me to give you suggestions and feedback on your assignments. The two PBL assignments are broken down even further and they have a variety of due dates. For example, you'll notice that links or uploads of your videos are due prior to the tutorial. This gives others in the class time to prep in advance of your tutorial. The PBL learning assignments are described in detail in the course outline, so please again read through this section carefully. The fourth assignment is based on the problem-based learning issues where you will have to create a checklist and write a supporting rationale for the checklist. The final assignment is an individual assignment. You will review the major elements we've examined throughout the course and then apply these to creating a possible solution to a problem that you have identified. There are three synthesis questions at the end of this module. All were designed to get you thinking about the person who is sitting at the desk who is tasked with creating workplace learning. Read the questions after you watch the video for the module. Then use these questions as a guide to assist you with synthesizing ideas that occur to you when reflecting on the video clip and ideas you heard from others when talking about the video clips. After you've reflected on the ideas, you should go to the discussion forum and exchange your ideas and thoughts with others. In Blackboard, you'll find a document with each week's synthesis questions. The first synthesis question is not really a question. I want you to discuss potential benefits of your education that should arise from participating in this course. The second question is how are the course tasks, activities, and resources tied to the outcomes? The last question has two parts. How is the course tied together? This refers to the flow of the course or the cohesiveness of the course and its parts. The second part of the question is why do you think this structure was chosen? I hope the three questions will help you understand and begin to think about the design of workplace learning. We'll revisit the analysis questions and synthesis questions as we move throughout the course. And as the course progresses, you should begin to see an evolution of your thoughts, approaches, and ideas about workplace learning. Well, that's it for the first video. I'll see you in the next one.